everybody. So today we're going to try Chiro or cold brewed Chiro. This is from Brew Detroit. Detroit. Uh, I can't remember if it was on YouTube or Jessica said something about it, but somebody said I needed to try the uh, Brew Detroit coffee variety pack. And we were at the store the other day, yesterday actually, and I did see this, so I picked it up. So it's a box of four, a variety pack. There's four different ones. I don't know the other ones. All of, I just grabbed it, and this is the first one I took out. This was $12.99, a uh, four pack, let's say. 6% uh, ABV is what was on the can, yeah, and this is or on the box, and that's what's uh, on here also. Uh, they're all, from the box, they're all 6%. So we'll see how good these are. I, I think it's an, a, a good price, maybe. It is a stout, hopefully the coffee's good. Uh, I mean, just thinking about it, 6% stout, you know, 13 bucks, uh, that does seem a little high when you can get like a six pack of something that's, six percent for ten bucks or something like that but uh we'll go ahead and drink it and see uh november 9th 2020 is what's on the can uh, i don't know if it shows no ibus because the interesting thing about this is if they're true if they're using coffee it says coffee uh, how much bitterness are you going to get out of that coffee? Is it going to be a real dark roasted coffee so the bitterness could be higher? Uh, so, I mean, is it a big deal the IBUs aren't on there? No, because most of the time it's perceived anyway. So it could, if they show 20, it could be perceived as 60, 70, or nothing. Um, nice head on there. Now, this is cold. Uh, straight out of the refrigerator, I did not let it warm up. That's how... I drink my coffee is cold so that's how we're going to drink this uh from the can i know i didn't say it smooth drinking cold brewed coffee stout with a hint of cinnamon uh head is dying down i guess that could be from the sugar and the cinnamon maybe but it is a light chocolate in color uh not even a quarter finger of head um black i'll go with black it's it's very very close we'll we'll say black so it looks the style let's go ahead and smell now again I, as i said this is straight out of the fridge uh lots of coffee like a dark roasted coffee a little bit of sweetness i'm really not picking up on that cinnamon they say hint so if they know what they're doing, maybe you wouldn't get it out of there, especially when it's cold. That coffee would really come through. Maybe as it does warm up, you'll get a little bit more cinnamon. My guess is we will get it in the taste. But yeah, almost all coffee in there. And it smells like it is using coffee. Not coffee from like a grain, uh, but true coffee. Let's go ahead and taste You definitely get that coffee, um, dark roasted coffee, not very bitter. Like you, you are getting a, doff, a d darker coffee taste, but that bitterness isn't that big. So that's good. It, it, it could be covered up by that cinnamon. I really don't get cinnamon. Even in the aftertaste, it's a big time dark coffee taste or aftertaste, I should say. At least at this point, I do not get any cinnamon in this. May, maybe a touch in the aftertaste, but as I said, that coffee is so dominant, that's like all you get. 
usually uh, with those darker roasted malts, you, you can kind of tell, okay, there's coffee in here, but that roasted malt is coming through. Now this is 6%, so it's not gonna be heavy, but I have seen some 6% stouts really come through with that coffee. But this one, I set it, and I'm not sure if it was a Rochester Mills or what video it was, but the good coffees come through as like a, a, a pepper uh, taste, and that's what this has, like a green pepper, um, but it, it's done very well. Very smooth, goes down, no alcohol, but you shouldn't get it for 6%. Yeah. Maybe a slight cinnamon in the aftertaste as it warms up. We'll pour the rest in here and take another drink and just see. That coffee, a little bit of green pepper in the back goes down. Your mouth feels with a dark roasted coffee. And that is it. Like I said, as I talk, maybe there's a touch of cinnamon, but I think if I was doing this completely blind, there's no way I would pick out cinnamon. Um, for this, I would have to go with a 4.25 out of 5. Very good. Uh, it need, it does need a little cinnamon in there. And it, I, I think that would bring it up to what this beer is supposed to be. Uh, I'll be interested in checking out the rest of these. Um, I'm trying to think maybe a, t a little bit of bitterness. A little bit more. Because you really don't get it, and I do like bold black coffee, and this doesn't have that bitterness level that I want, but I would definitely, if this was in a six pack, I would be buying it. So 4.25 out of 5. Let's check on tap real quick. Two of my friends have had it, uh, 3.5 out of 5. Uh, 559 people checked it in, 3.73 out of 5. See if anybody said anything. Not a fan of the cinnamon flavor. Maybe it comes out when it warms out. It needs to be more sweet. Um, yeah, it is not sweet. It's I, I like big, bold, cold coffee. And this is just fine. Like I said, I would want it a little bitter. More bitter. Um, enjoyable coffee out got a hint of the cinnamon uh coffee does overpower short-lived um but they didn't rate it so yeah if you're into coffee beers and you can find these by brew to detroit i would definitely recommend picking them up so if you like this video check some more out over here and until next time happy brewing